Welcome to this video guys. In this video, I will show you how to install Kali Linux in your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. First of all, hit the Windows key and type turn in your start menu. And then click on turn Windows feature on or off. And after clicking that, this Windows feature dialog box will pop up. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and you will see this Windows subsystem for Linux. Click on this checkbox right next to it and then click OK. It will search for some required files and it will apply the changes and then it will tell you to restart your computer. Now, this will only work after you restart your computer. So restart your computer and come back to this video. After you have restarted your PC, hit the start menu again and go to Microsoft Store. Open Microsoft Store. Let it open. And in this top bar where you can search for apps or games, type K-A-L-I. And it will give you this option of Kali Linux. Click on this. And now to install it, you just need to click on this install button. It will prepare some things and it will start download and then finally it will install. It will just take a few minutes, so be patient with this. As you can see here, it is 163 MB and it is downloading pretty quickly. And the download is complete and now it is installing. So after the installation is complete, you just need to click on open. And again, a command prompt will open that will show you installing. This may take a few minutes. So after the installation is complete, you need to set a username for your new Kali Linux distribution. So I'll just type my Kali and set a new password. Retype the new password and make sure you remember it because you will need to use it later on. So after you set your password and username, you are now inside your Kali Linux terminal. So you can close this now and you can even close the Microsoft Windows Store and you can just open Kali Linux by going to the start menu and type Kali and from here click on this and your Kali Linux distribution or Kali Linux terminal will open. From here you can run any Kali Linux command like stop and ls. So as you can see all the Kali Linux commands are working and this is actually a complete Kali Linux distribution for you. If you have any questions let me know in the comments below.